Back in 2015, I got my first job as a junior engineer. So here's what a day in a life as a junior engineer looks like. First are daily stand-ups. Usually you get into work around 9 or 10 a.m. And most engineering teams start the day with a daily stand-up where you share what you worked on yesterday, what you'll be working on today, and if you're blocked or stopped on any issues. After getting coffee or breakfast, you check GitHub for any comments or reviews you might have gotten on your pull requests from the rest of the team. A pull request is a fancy term for your code changes. Getting feedback during the code review process is critical to getting better as a junior engineer. Next, you typically spend a few hours addressing the team feedback on your pull request. This is also the opportunity to add tests to your code and refactor any areas of your code that might be hard to understand. After lunch, there's usually one or two meetings with designers or product managers to test your new feature or discuss requirements for your new features your, that your team will be working on. Although most code newbies think they'll be coding for eight hours a day, the reality of software engineering is that on average, you get to code for only three to five hours a day due to various team or company meetings. Next, around two or 3 p.m., you pick up a new feature to work on. You typically spend some time to understand all the feature requirements, which might involve speaking with product managers or designers to get more clarification. Part of being a junior engineer is being proactive about asking questions. Once you understand all the requirements, the next thing is to plan out the solution for your assignment. You might want to research existing features and how they've been designed and sketch out a list of components you might need to create. Depending on the complexity of the requirements, it could take anywhere from a few hours to a few days to complete the feature. Once your assignment is finished, you'll want to test it from beginning to end to make sure you haven't missed anything important in the requirements. This is actually an area that junior engineers struggle with the most. Sometimes you rush to deliver a feature only to realize that it's incomplete. Growing from junior to mid-level engineer is learning how to spot bugs or edge cases in your code before it gets to code reviews. As a junior engineer, occasionally you might experience the imposter syndrome, but remember that even experienced senior engineers feel that at times and not to let that stop you from working on complex features and new parts of the code base that you've never worked with before. Comment below what you think is the hardest part of the day in the life as a junior engineer, and let's break in.